the European ExoMars rover from concept to reality. Here at the Airbus Defence and Space Mars Yard in the UK, engineers are building prototype rovers. This one is called Bruno. It's semi-autonomous and will be able to cover four kilometres at a top speed of two centimetres per second. Bruno is pretty much the same as the, as the ExoMars rover uh, will look like. Um, I mean, he's got on him all the sensors and the actuators you use to drive the rover uh, by itself. Starting with these two cameras at the top of the mast, they allow the rover to see in 3D in much the same way we do and identify the, uh, the rocks and the slopes in front of it and then analyse if any are outside of its capabilities. The rover's instruments will examine the atmosphere and there's also a drill that can bore down to two metres deep. After several scientific meetings about the mission and its destination, scientists chose a former lake in an equatorial region called Oxia Planum as a landing site. Oxia Planum is, uh, is, is really one of the most interesting places to go, for, go with the lander to investigate, uh, in particular with the drill corps you can take up, doing analysis of the surface material, subsurface material. In order to search for life, every component and instrument arriving from labs across Europe is sterilised in this purpose-built clean room before assembly. The rover's wheels may have the same flexibility as rubber, but they're metal, because rubber is organic and might contaminate any evidence of life. The big thing is having the drill so that we can actually get to the depths that we think that life would still be both alive if it could be and recognisable even if it wasn't. Uh, that's the big thing that nobody's ever really done before. The ExoMars rover will launch in 2020. A joint mission between ESA and Russia, it will be the first rover to directly search for life. Yes, naturally I hope that ExoMars will find traces of the existence of organic compounds on the surface of Mars. And of course, ExoMars is exactly the mission that should do this. It was designed for this. ESA and Russia already has its ExoMars trace gas orbiter around the planet. The orbiter is sniffing the Martian atmosphere for gases like methane that might be linked to biological or geological activity. When the rover lands in 2021, a new phase of discovery will begin.